We're back to help Kathy finish off her Christmas list. Now Kathy, we know farmers spend a lot of time outside regardless of the weather. So for the apparel products, I tried to choose things that would keep farmers warm and that were practical items. Good so idea. the first one on the list is the Redhead Millennial Touch Tip Glove. Now we've seen a lot of touch tip gloves on the marketplace as smartphones and tablets have become more popular. So you can see the touch tip part right there. But what I really like about these gloves is they're a little bit warmer than some of the mm -hmm. other ones. So they're waterproof and they're fleece lined so they're going to keep your hands really warm yet you can still use your phone or a tablet outside. And those go for about $40. Good idea. Now next, almost in almost every farmer's closet you can find some sort of Carhartt item. So I have a few new things from Carhartt this year. This is the Carhartt Chapman jacket and it's designed to be two things. First of all, it's a very warm, heavy jacket. It's made out of cotton sandstone duck. And then on the inside it's a mid-weight polyester, so it's going to be warm on the outside but very comfortable and cozy on the inside. Inside pockets. Yep, lots of convenient pockets on it. You've got a few on the outside and then one on the inside, so you could throw your phone there to keep it out Perfect. of the elements, or you could throw it inside depending how the weather is. This Keeps is... it from falling into the corn pile. Exactly. <laughs> we all know that can be a problem. And these go for about $120, so a little more expensive, but they're definitely going to keep you outside in the winter months. Now the next item is uh, another Carhartt one. It's a mid-weight three-season sweatshirt. And the name kind of says it all for this one. Oh, so nice it's weight. designed really to wear from fall through spring. So it's going to be heavy enough that it'll keep you warm in the winter, but it's not going to be so hot that that's the only time you can wear it. It's quilt lined on the inside and it's also water repellent on the outside. My dad would love this. And those go for about $60. Next on the list, now that we've looked at it, a couple of the outerwear items, a few things from Duluth, that'll, base layers that'll help keep you warm. The first one is this wool quarter zip undershirt. One thing most people don't know about wool, it can absorb up to 30% of its weight in water and yet it still feels dry. So it's going to help keep you dry and warm and chill free no matter what the weather's like. Um, this is a little more expensive item, it's a $75 undershirt but it will keep you nice and warm in the winter. And I like the zipper, too. Yep. Another cold weather item we have are Duluth's warmest winter socks. These are called the Wool Packas. Um, they get that name, it's a blend of wool and alpaca. So you get the softness, okay. but yet they're very insulating. They're also a little bit thicker on the foot and the shin, so if you're wearing them with higher boots, they're gonna be very comfortable. I see that, yes. Yep, and those go for about $20. That's a nice addition. Too. So you have these to put on your feet. Yep. What are you going to put As over them? Yes. All right. We have a couple different styles of boots here. These are the Wolverine Kabor boots. And these are designed with energy potential technology, which sounds very high tech for boots. What that means, um, there's a couple different things. They have dual layer foam, which is going to help even out the weight in the boots. And then if you they're lightweight. They are lightweight. When you look at the bottom, the tread is designed to help absorb the impact evenly across the foot. And then the top layer, there's a compression on the top that helps cushion the foot from heel to toe. So they're really designed for guys like farmers who are out working all day on their feet to make it very comfortable. Feels like a real sturdy toe too. Yep, and you do have the option, these are six inch boots to have a steel or composite toe, depending um, what you prefer, and they go for about $160 to $170. And they're waterproof. Yep. Very great option for farmers. The next boots we have are a little more fit for summertime. So these are the muck boots. They're a spin on the original muck boots. These are the Chore Cool. Hmm. And they have Express Cool technology. So what that is, it's an interior liner in the boot that pulls the moisture out and it creates a cooling effect. So it helps keep your foot cool in the summer months. These would be perfect for the Iowa State Fair. Yes, they would. They're a little bit cheaper than the other boots we looked at. They go for about $140. That's a nice boot. Now, Kathy, we've looked at gifts for everyone else on your list, but we haven't spent any time looking at what you might like. Oh. So I do have a few products we'd like to suggest. This first one, it's a waxed cotton jacket. You can kind of tell by the fabric there from Duluth. So this is really cute. designed to be, say it is a very cute jacket, but it's also designed for when you're spending a lot of time outside. 
either in the rain or the snow. It's the wax fabric and look helps at the, back. the water run off. Oh, that's cute. Very cute in the back too. And it's uh, twill lined, so it's a little bit more comfortable on the inside there. And it's zipper and snap. Yep. And that goes for about $180, and they also have it in a navy. That's cute. That's one option for you. Dave and Lori, would you please join Jesse and I? I would like to say thank you for helping me with this year's Christmas list. Well, hopefully you were able to check a few people off that list. I have everyone taken care of, thank you. That's great. Well, if you didn't get a chance to jot down some notes like Kathy did, visit agriculture.com for the complete list of products. And all of us at The Machinery Show would like to wish you and yours a Merry Christmas and a Blessed New Year. Mm -hmm.